In this video we are going to create a mind map on personal growth. The end result you can find in the demos under the file menu. It is a big mind map with 144 concepts and 164 relations. I will quickly browse through it. Let's see how I created it. Open the bulk add sidebar, and then select the mind map prompt. Put in the subject of the mind map we want to create. So type in, personal growth. Then press the generate button. And click on the ChatGPT link and paste the clipboard in it. ChatGPT will generate two tables. The relations table you need to copy and paste in the relations box. and the terms table in the terms box. Then press the bulk add button. Now auto reposition the elements. Let's further expand the mind map with this concept. Right-click on the concept and copy the name. Go back to the bulk add sidebar and paste the name. Then repeat the steps you did before. If you select for no randomization, the graph will not change completely. You can reposition the concepts a bit better if you like. Let's add some more concepts. Maybe you want to have a better definition for this, so you can select the icon to open the options for this term. Select you option, and then paste it again in ChatGPT to get an improved definition. This you can copy and paste in the term sidebar, Let's save our work now. You can load it via the file menu again. I repeated the steps a few times to add more concepts to the mind map. There are some redundant relations you want to clean up. Select the relations you want to remove and press the delete key. You can also reposition several elements at once.
Let's make the mind map better readable by adding some styling. We first select the key concepts, those are concepts with more than average relations. Open the filter sidebar and select the relations tab. Now choose to select the concepts with four or more relations. and apply some styling to them. Also select the concepts which are at the end of the mind map by selecting for exactly one relation. Give them a different color. The other concepts we will select by the background color, and also style them a bit. Now let's find the central concept this mind map is about and color it red to stand out. Finally, I will color the relations as well, based on the source concepts they are connected to. First select all relations. Then select to give them the same color as the source. You can also auto color the names of the relations. Now you can see that everything has a nice color. If everything is done, you can export it to HTML. This will create one file you can share or save somewhere. It does not need the Turnboard application to view the mind map.